It was once said that travelling is an investment in bettering yourself, but how does one initially save money effectively on the road to living in Asia? In today's video, we will be exploring four important actions that you will need to do in order to save money in the most successful way. There are many items that you may need before traveling, but one common mistake is over-purchasing items. Many of these can be purchased locally for a fraction of the price. For example, you will need to purchase some masks for the flight, but you do not need to buy any industrial packs or bulk packs before your flight, as these can be purchased locally for pennies. Many Southeast Asian countries also import products from China similar to the West, and therefore, unless you need high quality and durable items, it's often wise to save your money and purchase locally when you arrive in your designated country. It is often advised that you should have thousands of dollars, sometimes as high as $5,000 in a safety net or an emergency fund before booking your flight. This is a great piece of advice, but in reality, it's not always practical, especially as saving money is not the most straightforward task in today's modern world. Instead of placing pressure on yourself, aim to save a few hundred dollars at first. If you are earning money living in Asia, you can add to your emergency fund as the week and months pass, but naturally this carries an element of risk. I would aim for at least two months living expenses as a deposit, but having a small safety net is much better than having none. What you also might find interesting is that having a disposable asset such as cryptocurrency is a common type of emergency fund that many expats possess while living in Asia. This is often a subject that is rarely discussed, so it may be a great option if you are a savvy investor. Due to YouTube's terms and conditions, I must mention that this is not financial advice and thus I'd recommend speaking to an independent financial advisor. Placing savings on the front line is one of the best ways to be financially secure when you're planning to move to Asia. But what does this mean? Let me use myself as an example. When I was back in the UK, I needed to have enough money to move to the Philippines. Therefore, I placed my savings on the front line and through first principle thinking, I discovered two things. One, I'm fat. Two, I'm spending more money on food than I should be. I then investigated ways I could save money and discovered fasting. It was a win-win solution. I could lose weight, become healthier and save money which resulted in me reaching my financial goal much sooner but even better, I was able to fly to the Philippines four months before my original plan. Am I saying that you should stop eating? <laughs> Absolutely not. But even though this example is slightly extreme, putting savings on the front line will allow you to see the avenues and opportunities to save money or even make more money ready for your new journey across the pond. Paying for a $30, £30 or €30 Euro membership subscription that is not used each month may not seem like a lot of money, but in Asia, $30 has more buying power. And in some places, this $30 could provide a single adult with a week's worth of food. Many expats discover that when they leave Southeast Asia and fly back to America, Australia, UK, Canada, etc., just how expensive everyday items are. If it's possible to cancel any subscriptions or services you no longer need or want this week, then it's recommended to do so. It may not seem like a lot of cash, but every little helps.